This is so sad. Look at her. Every year it's the same thing. Yep. The birthday hop. <laughs> She'd learn. I mean, every year she turns on the oldie station, cranks it up real loud, and dances the dances of our forefathers. <laughs> oh, and then she realizes how old she is and gets depressed. Watch. Well, remember that one? If you do, you must be a hundred, because it was over 20 years ago. That was one for you, Grandma. You we were very brave, Al. Well, wasn't anything that. Anybody else with the heart of a lion wouldn't have done. I mean, you should have seen me, Peg. Yeah, I was a little nervous. But I got him right between the eyes, and I'll tell you, there's not a lot of space between those eyes. It was a nice shot, Al. You want to go upstairs? Yeah. You don't suppose that's Stephen Marcy? It's them. What are you going to tell them? I don't know. But if they don't bring it up, we don't bring it up. <laughs> hey, Steve and Marcy, what brings you two crazy kids over here? We heard a shot. Hey, Peg, look who's here. It's Steve and Marcy from next door. <laughs> they heard a shot, Peg. <laughs> you going to say anything tonight, Peg? Uh, what was that you said you came over here for? We thought we heard a shot, Al. Yeah, yeah. They thought they heard a shot, Peg. Did you hear a shot? <laughs> Say something, Peg. Well, I think if there'd been a shot, their dog would have started barking. <laughs> Peggy, what are you doing? I'm getting myself a VCR. I see. No, you don't. You're not a housewife. You have your own money. I have to use strategy. You see, when you first get married, you can withhold sex. But then they get to like that. <laughs> so you have to put a little spin on the ball. <laughs> you see, I have to pretend to clean to remind Al how hard my work is. He'll come in that door any minute, sit down in the couch, put one hand down his pants and the other hand here on this VCR ad. Uh, excuse me, Peggy, but why don't you just say, honey, I want a VCR. Because Al works very hard for his money, and he deserves me to work equally as hard to get him to spend it on me. <laughs> to continue, he'll say, why do we need a VCR? Because you want to watch Phil and tape Oprah? Huh. <laughs> I mean, everyone knows that you watch Oprah and tape Phil. <laughs> Man, God love them. They're just children with paychecks. <laughs> I'll grovel for a while, and I'll get my VCR. But don't you find this demeaning? Just the part where I have to explain it to you. <laughs> oh, there's his car. I better get going. Oh, no, stick around. You might lose your job someday and have to be a woman. <laughs> oh, hi, honey. I didn't hear you pull up. How was your day? I sell shoes, okay? Jeez, it stinks in here. Oh, well, what's for dinner? What's this? Gee, I don't know. Let's see. Son of a gun, they're having a sale on VCRs. What are those? Video something recorders. That's a good price, isn't it? It's not bad. You know, if we had one of these, you could tape the Cubs game while you were at work. Come on, you just want one because Phil and Oprah are on at the same time and it's killing you. <laughs> oh, please, Al, please, can I have one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't What? Oh, please, please, Mr. Maniac. <laughs> Don't kill me. I'll take care of you. Oh, yeah, sure. You tourists, you can't even take care of yourselves. No, 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 no. Believe me, I am really good at, uh, uh, what do you call that stuff? Housework? That's it. 
I don't know. I like my place clean. I was born to clean. Dusting, I'm the best. Polishing, legend. And uh, what do you call those things? You know that you you push across the rug and they go. <laughs> A vacuum. I feel naked without one. Then you'll definitely have one. What about sewing? What about it? Do you do it? Happily. Washing? Your clothes? <laughs> I'd be proud. Blood stains, no problem. How about cooking? Oh, now we are really talking my life. Yep, just put me in front of a hot stove on a summer day. Four burners going, grease splattering into my face, mixing with all the sweat. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I don't do any of that stuff. I don't do anything. I'm a housewife, damn it. <laughs> but look, I feel sorry for you. I know what it is to be alone. I have a husband and two kids. <laughs> but I don't go around killing them. <laughs> I mean, I might if I didn't have a TV. <laughs> you know, that could be the answer for you, too. Look, the next time that you get this killing urge, just do as I do. Grab yourself some bonbons, take the phone off the hook, pick up the old remote control, and remember, don't kill, watch Phil. I hate Phil. You are sick. Where were we? We were neutering the dog, Al. Oh, but honey, before you take him down, could you ask him for a few pointers? <laughs> Well, one thing that seems to work for him was there was no one lying there yelling a bunch of instructions at him. Well, you obviously didn't pay any attention to those charts I put up in the bathroom. Well, I thought that meant put the clothes in the hamper. <laughs> You've been missing that too, Al. Uh, guys, please. Uh, look, Al, why don't you just take him down, get him neutered, and be done with it? Because I'm not neutering him. Oh, come on, Al. It is no big thing. <laughs> Al, you'll really be doing him a favor. I read that neutered dogs live longer, they're calmer, and they're more affectionate. <laughs> Makes them more affectionate, huh? <laughs> he won't even notice after a while. <laughs> Believe me, Mars. The kind of a thing a guy would notice. Oh, come on, Al. It is a simple, painless operation. Did he really give you a massage? Well, it was more like he kind of bumped into me. But you know, when you're married to Al, that is a massage. Go on, go on. Well, then he said, leave your husband. He ain't nothing but a hound dog. Come with me and we'll enjoy a life of fast living, fast cars, and fast food. He actually said that? Well, his exact words were, excuse me, ma'am, but it was the way he said it. Oh, I envy you, Peggy. My only brush with destiny was when Clark Gable came to me in a dream and said, keep your own teeth as long as you can. <laughs> Then Steve's stupid appendix burst and I woke up. That's Steve for you. Now, every time I see that scar, I think what might have been. Come on, Marcy, snap out of it. Clark Gable is dead. Let's get back to the living. Now, when Elvis comes for uh, me... Pardon me. Could you please show us again how Elvis sneered when he found out your husband sold shoes? <laughs> Excuse me, Marcy. My public... See, you can't take these fortune tellers seriously. They just make up stuff. Mrs. Bundy? Yes? I found your husband's wallet in the parking lot at the mall. Oh, it's all there, ma'am. I didn't take anything. Oh, you know, he will be so happy to hear that there are still some honest people left in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, excuse me, but I came all the way over here on my own time. Oh. Sorry. Hi, Mom. How's it going? Oh, fine. Fine. <laughs> 
I mean, nobody's talking to me or anything, but... Uh... Well, actually, I shouldn't say nobody. A teacher gave me detention for smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and the girl's gym teacher asked if I'd like to come over and we could comb each other's hair. <laughs> well, if you go, she'll get you out of that detention. <laughs> look, Kelly, I really thought some of these kids would come over and ask me questions. I must be making you look pretty bad in front of your friends. Don't worry about it, Mom. Most of my friends aren't even up yet. <laughs> Well, I know that. But I wanted you to be proud of me, like those other kids are proud of their moms. But you're not like other moms. I mean, I knew that the first day of kindergarten when I opened up my lunchbox and found a dollar bill and a roadmap to Burger King. <laughs> I packed that lunch myself. <laughs> but you know, I've been thinking, there must be more to being a good mom than good nutrition. I mean, look, those other kids are learning so much from the other moms. Hey, those other moms couldn't have taught me how to forge Dad's signature. Well, you know, I can't take credit for that. Bud taught me, and I passed it on to you. <laughs> You're very good at that, you know. Thanks. Why, your Al Bundy is worth more than the check it's written on. <laughs> See, you've helped me in a lot of ways. Do you remember when I was seven, and I was crying because Bobby Sheckman liked Terry Mall just because she was a blonde? And you ran right out and bought me my first bottle of bleach. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Honey, what is your real hair color? I don't know. What color is yours? I don't know. You know, it's times like these I wish we'd taken pictures. <laughs> oh, listen. Let's go have ourselves a real mother-daughter day. We'll get some popcorn, feed the pigeons, and then walk by a construction site and make them hoot like jackals. <laughs> Too cool for school, oh, Mom. <laughs> hey, excuse me. What do you do? Oh, uh, I don't know. Nothing, really. I watch TV. Well, then how do you make money? Easy. My husband has a job. He brings home a paycheck. And what he doesn't give to me, I take. <laughs> wow! Hey, Becky! <laughs> you know, it would be just like you to drop dead in front of this TV the day before my big night out. God, what a lump of sour milk my life is that I'm actually looking forward to a shoe convention. No, I'm not. Just another place to remind me of my failures, you know, work, home. The bedroom. You're always there for me when I'm down, aren't you, babe? Oh, I'm nothing special. Just a wife. Mm, you claim. <laughs> anyway, Peg, I'm just not really looking forward to speaking in front of all those people. I mean, who started that tradition that the man who makes the least has to introduce the man who makes the most? <laughs> Honey, you ought to be proud. I mean, no one else has held that honor for seven years in a row. <laughs> Why, hissing and booing you actually seems to energize the whole convention. <laughs> Peg, do you get a special bonus or something if I don't reach 50? Gee, yeah, I'm not really sure. I should check. But, honey, I don't want you to ruin this convention for me. It's my big night out. I mean, you have the glamour and excitement of, of the shoe store every single day. <laughs> but I am stuck here in this house, eating bonbons, watching that TV all day long. You owe me. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I guess I really just never stop and think of you on my gleeful journey to the Mardi Gras, which is my life at the shoe shop. <laughs> How can I repay you? Well, honey, you can do for Mommy that thing that Great Big Al does best uh, for his itty-bitty uh, Y. <laughs> Come on, honey. Do it. Take out the garbage. 